Hey guys, so I'm not quite sure if I should tell you this, but I'm a dramatic person. I like to exaggerate everything I see, everything I smell, everything I feel. I just can't help it. When my friends and I are laughing, I'm always one of the loudest ones, which is kind of embarrassing when everyone is staring at us. Me, basically. Everyone knows that I hate insects. They are nasty, disgusting, horrible. Especially those that can fly. I just can't stand mosquitoes, even though they are really tiny. I know that I'm a million times bigger than a mosquito, but still, I'm pathetically threatened by it. Every time I see a mosquito, I scream like crazy. Crazier than Justin Bieber and One Direction's fans. Seriously. That's a good thing. No, it's gone. That means it could be anywhere in this house. It better be in your mouth. Look, I gotta sleep. Don't you ever, ever wake me up for something like this again. Sis! Sis! It's back! What are you doing? <laughs> I don't want to do this! I don't want to do this! Calm down. It's not your fault. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, maybe that's taking a bit too far. But really, how can people be so calm when they see a mosquito? For some reason, I really like to tell people something I extremely like in an exaggerated way. Hey, have you watched The Avengers? No, but I think I'm gonna watch it next Wednesday. It's like the best movie in the universe. I swear. Do you understand? Do you understand how good it is? I know you don't understand, but I want you to understand. You know what I'm saying? Like the one with the light here, and the light here, and then put you, and then it fly, and then, you know, the green thingy? Yeah? And the one wearing a red underwear? That's Superman. I'm pretty sure he's not in the Avengers. Believe it or not, I get scared very easily. And I don't think it's a very good idea to scare me. Not a very good idea. Such a loser. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about dramatic people. The problem with exaggeration is that it always leads to disappointment. For example, when a movie is about this level and your dramatic friend told you that it's about this level and after you watch the movie you were like, oh, it's not as good as she said and so you automatically downgrade a movie to this level. Is there a difference? The reason why you think it this way is because her comments on the movie gives you too much expectation. And so before you watch the movie, you think it's probably going to be the best movie I've ever seen in my life. And it is usually not the case. I know it's pretty weird to talk about this without any transition, but I think what I just said a few seconds ago is already a transition. So yeah, I haven't seen you guys for ages. Exaggeration. Without you guys, I can't sleep, I can't eat, I have no appetite at all. But all jokes aside, it's really been a while. And in the last three months, I know that I've lost a lot of subscribers. I don't know exactly how many because I didn't count. But does that mean that I don't care? Mm, no. I just want you guys to know that this happy nut is back! And she's gonna make more and more videos. In fact, I plan to make at least one video per week. I'll try to stick with that goal. So if you want to see more videos from me, subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!